dun, 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 dun. That's a Star Wars song from a Star Wars film. Well, hello and welcome everyone, audience members and everyone that watches this show for an, a new special edition of Green Light Cinema called uh, Real Reclam. And well, hello and welcome uh, to everyone to a very special episode of, to a new special called Real Reactions with Brandon. I'm your host, Brandon Pacheco. Welcome to the show. So today we're going to be talking about all things Obi-Wan related and all things Star Wars and a little bit of She-Hulk if we have time. That's right. We're going to cover all new ground today. Thanks for joining us again. And don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button. All right, guys, let's get into this episode. Well, we can forget about just the three original films. Forget about this nonsense, because now we have Mandorian, Mandalorian, uh, The Adventures of C-3PO and uh, Friends, Luke Skywalker with Baby Yoda, and also now The Kenobi Show, The Book of Kenobi. I am so excited. Actually, I have this trailer pulled up. Well, I'm going to. Um, welcome back. Hey, guys. I don't know if you can see this, and I really don't care, so I'm not going to check. But I have this pulled up now. We're going to watch the Kenobi trailer, just you and I, the audience. And you're going to kind of get a feel for what I sense as a Star Wars fan, how, how I'm going to pick this apart, how if I like this, if I don't, you'll be able to know. Um, I haven't really had time to look at it. I've quickly, briefly looked at it as I've been editing things, of course. But uh, this is my first time actually viewing this trailer. So let's check it out. I'm excited. Glad to have you guys with me and let's experience this together. May a force be with you. Oh, there's that Lucasfilm logo. Yes, yes, yes. New ship. Stormtroopers. I know them. Stay hidden. Or we will not survive. Oh my gosh, wow. Oh, Luke Skywalker looks like a uh, Jake Lloyd. Leave us alone. When the time comes, he must be trained. Uncle Ben? What? Oh, uh, yeah, I guess he's got to be in this. Wait, does he have an Uncle Ben just like Peter Parker? Uncle Owen. Aunt Beru. That's right. A six-part event. Wow. Wow. This looks better than Casanova Endor's trailer. Has that came out yet? Oh, I see a Darth Vader arm and a thing. And then and he's all getting machined up. Oh, yeah, Obi-Wan's there. All right, I already have a theory. About two ways you can work that. Disney Plus. Talk about what I've experienced as a fan. I want to say you can go in this in a couple of different ways. There's a scene there in Return of the Jedi just just throw away nonsense, and because uh, you can you can now play it up a lot better with this Kenobi show. Wow, I've never thought of it because so Obi Wan says to him, he's more machine now than a man. Twisted and evil. And, Lu and and we just seen him watch Anakin, or Darth Vader rather, Obi-Wan, getting, uh, he's seen Darth Vader getting all suited up. We didn't hear sound effects, but we've seen the robot costume, or him getting in the Darth Vader costume in a robot suit. So, Kenobi's seen that. And also, that scene from A New Hope means something more than we thought it did from Revenge of the Sith. Remember when he said, I sense something, a presence I've not felt since. Darth Vader, I mean, said, I sense something, a presence I haven't sensed since. Trails off, dot, dot, dot. 
he could possibly be talking about their little scene here that we just seen. I actually thought this was going to be like, you know, sayonara, like I'm getting my paycheck from Disney because a few years ago, I know everyone remembers, but I did an Anakin impression. Don't you see? We don't have to run away anymore. I've brought peace to the Republic. I'm more powerful than the Chancellor. I, I, I can overthrow him. And I thought Hayden Christensen wasn't coming back to acting. Uh, it doesn't make any sense why Disney wouldn't contact me. I'm 5'8", uh, you know, 130 pounds. I would make a great Darth Vader is what I'm trying to say. And I'm a little confused as why I didn't get picked for Anakin. It's great to see Hayden Christensen back in the role. Uh, is it going to be good? I'll watch this. We'll find out together if it's going to be good. I cannot wait for this movie. Oh my gosh. And may the 24th be with you. If you guys, if I hadn't told you guys, may the force be with you or force, then you're probably going to watch this on May the 20th of something. So may the 24th be with you. And that's from Brandon Pacheco. And I'm signing off from Reels Reactions. Okay, bye. Now let's watch She-Hulk.